The working conditions in Taiwan have long faced criticism, and these issues continue. On December 23rd, labor groups voiced their discontent with current policies, urging political parties to prioritize workers' rights before the 2024 national election. The policies of the three presidential candidates on the labor pension system and labor insurance reform fall short. Taiwanese labor group's principal demands include addressing low wages, guaranteeing retirement security, shortening long work hours, and increasing employer contributions to occupational hazard insurance. The Employment Service Act's design also needs adjustments. We can only effectively address the widespread issue of low wages in Taiwanese enterprises through such changes. Additionally, it can advance gender equality in the workplace, especially regarding salaries. Sun Youlian acknowledges the recognition of wage issues by Taiwan's three major parties. However, he underscores the need for actions rather than words. Candidates must present detailed plans to tackle these issues. We still believe that certain enterprises, particularly those listed on the stock exchange, should disclose relevant information like salary levels. The extent of salary adjustments could be reflected in tax deduction eligibility. Mayor Ho advocates raising the minimum wage to 33,000 NT dollars and encourages businesses to increase wages. Enterprises that raise salaries for employees could enjoy deductions on the profit-seeking enterprise income tax. I believe this approach can stimulate growth in the overall salary environment. The KNT and TPP are advocating for higher wages and tax reductions. Conversely, the DPP's focus is on enhancing the labor pension system and fostering a fairer transition. We will encourage businesses to offer flexible working hours and support dual-income families, including promoting childcare facilities and related equipment. We have actively pursued industry-academic collaborations in recent years, focusing on industrial innovation. A crucial initiative is establishing a national-level talent acquisition service center. All parties have suggested measures for low-wage challenges, yet the Taiwan Labor Front points out the lack of definitive strategies to avert the Labor Insurance Fund's bankruptcy. From the Ma administration to the Tsai administration, it's evident that regardless of who is in power, there's a reluctance to address the financial issues of labor insurance boldly. The responsibility for solving this problem should return to the legislative yuan. A special committee in the legislative yuan should be dedicated to handling labor pension issues. Amid soaring inflation, the working class is most affected. The election outcome will depend on how candidates bolster labor rights and increase wages, a vital commitment mirroring the nation's aspiration for a fairer future. Zheng Shengwei, Liu Lijun, Huang Shihou, TBBS World, Taiwan.